If you're looking to build a custom Chrome extension using AI in a matter of minutes, then this video is perfect for you because I'm going to show you how to do just that. Uh, my name is Patrick uh, with Univium, and the other day I was working on a project for a client where they needed a custom Chrome extension for uh, a part of their business that we were working to automate, and I hadn't built one before. So before I built that uh, for them, I did just a simple mock-up on my own. Uh, and it turned out to be a lot simpler than I expected. So I figured I'd make a video in case it uh, helps anyone else out. Uh, so just a quick demonstration, the uh, extension I did build just while testing on my own is called Quotivate. Uh, and all it does is it gives you a motivational quote every time you, uh, every time you click it, it'll show you a brand new one and you can click this refresh to uh, get a new quote. And so it was real simple, but once you have the structure, of a Chrome extension, it's really easy to go back in and add more uh, complex logic and, and uh, a lot more custom functionality and whatnot. So uh, definitely very valuable. Uh, if you do want to try out just this uh, quote of eight uh, extension, I do have it listed on the uh, Chrome web store. And so I'll have that link in the description. But uh, so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a uh, eight, magic eight ball Chrome extension where you'll just click like a shake button and it'll give you, you know, one of the answers that a magic eight ball would. And so again, real simple, but I think if you're just wanting to see the basic structure of uh, how to set this up real quick, uh, I think it should be very, very helpful and valuable. So I do use a uh, chat GPT. Uh, I do have the pro version. I'm not sure if O3 is available without the pro version, uh, but that's what I'm going to use today. Uh, and I'm just going to type up a quick prompt. So give me just a minute and I'm going to uh, come up with something, something decent. Let's see. So the first thing I tell it is I ask it to generate a zip file with all the files necessary for a fully functional Chrome extension. Uh, I ask it to do that because rather than having to do one file at a time, uh, ChatGPT is now able to generate multiple files at once, uh, put it all together in uh, one zip file. Uh, you can download it and uh, get it set up real easy. So I'll show you how to do that, but I'll go ahead and finish the, the prompt real quick. Uh, Okay, and so uh, I'm sure you're able to read through that as I just ask it to create a magic eight ball extension, uh, pin it up in the right hand corner, uh, make it where whenever you click it, that little pop up shows up and you see a shake button. When you click the shake button, it'll give you one of the uh, different responses from the magic eight ball. And so uh, we'll go ahead and do this and see if it uh, does what we want. And of course, it'll take just a minute to uh, to go through that. Um, and kind of get everything generated. And so give that just a minute and I'm gonna check one thing on my end uh, and uh, make sure I have everything else lined up for this next part. Okay, 
So there you can see it is generating the files. Uh, it should make an icon. I should have asked it to make its own custom icon and, and give it a unique name, but uh, we'll go ahead and let it do do whatever it needs to for now. So I think it should be good, but let's find out. Sometimes it has an error when it's generating this file. Uh, so I did go ahead and download it. And we're just going to go in here. Nope, it's over there. So we are going to, I'm going to go back here, extract all. I'm just going to extract it straight to my uh, downloads folder. So now we can see it is in there. Um, the grape. So now it's in the downloads folder. So now what we're going to do uh, to get this installed. So there's a, a process to actually get it listed on the Chrome Web Store. Uh, and I may not go through that today, but I'm going to at least show you how to get it installed and working. Uh, if you go to Chrome uh, colon slash slash extensions, uh, go to developer mode, and then you're going to hit load unpacked and we're going to click this file now i think uh, it put this extra file in here so we're going to go and click on this second one right here click select folder and boom there it is and you see the eight and so uh now one of these is my old one i need to clean these up a bit i get that removed okay so here's the magic eight bowl one i'm just going to pin this up to the top and you'll see Boom, it's right there. Uh, ask your question and hit shake. So let's see. Uh, will I be eating pizza for dinner tonight? I have to ask again later. I'm going to ask again right now. Uh, it looks like I'm not eating pizza tonight. So, yeah, again, real simple, uh, kind of funny. But as you can imagine, there's a lot more you can do with this. This is just a basic, simple structure to get you started. And ChatGPT really generates all of it for you. Uh, I'll show you again, just in case you're curious. There's a couple different files. You have popup.js, popup.html, manifest.json. You have your CSS, and then you have your icons, which I guess it generated a PNG for the, the icon. Uh, yeah, so I mean, it's real neat what it's able to do now. Um, so definitely, definitely a great tool. Uh, if you do want to see how to get it uh, all packaged and approved uh, and, and put on the Chrome Web Store. Uh, leave a comment, let me know. I was planning to make a separate video for that because it's a bit more in depth. Uh, but yeah, leave a comment if you're interested and I'll try and get that video uh, made and posted a bit earlier uh, rather than later. Um, and if you do need a custom Chrome extension for yourself or for your own business, uh, I do work full time as a business automation developer. Uh, I run, run my own company, Univium. So definitely please reach out via my website, univium.com, and I would be happy to help you. I'll be sure to include a link in the description. But other than that, I hope you all found this helpful, and uh, thank you very much. Take care.